Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I want to take a moment to get on here. Um, I did this video earlier, but then it got all jacked up. So I'm going to shorten it and let you all know that I'm so grateful for everything that the Lord has done in my life. I was not supposed to be here, my brothers and sisters. When I tell you that I'm supposed to be dead, I'm supposed to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead and I'm supposed to be gone. The enemy had been hot on my trail for many, many, many years. And he definitely tried some things in which he almost succeeded. There were times that I was in my darkest places and thought that God was not with me. Not knowing all along that he had me in the palm of his hand. Guys, I'm telling you that. I know darkness is real because I've experienced darkness and I've seen it and I've definitely experienced the supernatural to know that the supernatural does exist. Little did I know that those experiences and the things that I saw is tied into the call that God had on my life today in the area of the prophetic. But just as much as I saw darkness, I also experienced God's very presence I've experienced him coming and getting me out of a dark place. I felt the charge and the difference in the room when the presence of the Lord came and enveloped me and I've never been the same. And guys, just as much as I used to sin to the fullest, to the fullest, I'm going to serve God to the fullest. I go hard for God because I was going hard for the devil when I was in the world. And you see, I was also in the military. I served and I retired, but the military, I, I learned so many good things from it, but it's really about pride and being your best self. And so on top of being a party girl and going out and having dates and all these different things, I was also going to be that top, you know, person competing for different things within the military. And the military is all about being your best self and, you know, basically flossing, you know, it, it was about soldiering and all that good stuff, but there's a, there's always competition, healthy competition, but competition nonetheless. So you tie that into just walking in darkness and doing my own thing in my social life. I was lost, but I thank the Lord that he found it within himself to change my life and to call me into the fold. Because guys, there's so many people like myself who did the exact same things that I did that did not make it. So I'm so thankful to the Lord today for covering me and for keeping me. And guys, you know, something that the Lord shared with me as I was in prayer, he said, do you know that there are people that you know, that knows you and you know them that has that were actually betting, kind of discuss among themselves that you will fall off, that the fire that you have for me will die down, and that you will, this will, this will, this won't last. He said, but for my name's sake, I was going to let you remain for my name's sake. He said, I was going to bring you further than anyone else thought. And I'm so thankful for that, guys. Do you know that there's people right now, as you're on the road and you're on this path serving God, that they're thinking you're just going through a phase and speaking death and saying you, you're you not going to make it and you're going to backslide and it's just a matter of time. But thank God for his power and his, and his, and his upholding strength that he has kept me. Guys, the habits that I have, God has taken those things from me. And the reason why I'm able to stay on this path is because I stay all up in his face, y'all. I stay all up in the Lord's face. I stay in his presence. I stay in his word. And guys, if you go into the presence of the Lord, he will take over and he will pour out his spirit upon you that the things that you used to do, you won't want to do them anymore. It is possible to change. It is possible to be 
possible to become the man and woman of God he has called you to be. It's possible to stop those little nasty habits, those strongholds. They can stop. I'm here to tell you, if you go in the presence of the Lord and you seek him, he will change you. So guys, I'm here to tell you, stay the course. If you are a Christian, stay the course. Don't give up. Guys, we want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Guys, in this body, see, I'm not going to look like this and you're not going to look like you because this is just the shell that our spirit is in. But when we are transformed and we're changed because we're one in Christ, we're going to recognize one another. And when we see one another and we're getting our crowns, we're going to understand exactly why, why, why we went through all we went through. And we're going to say, thank you. God, we held on. Thank God for keeping me. So I'm encouraging y'all to stay the course. Those of you that don't know the Lord, guys, I'm trying to tell you there's nothing out there that's going to be able to compare to the peace and the joy that comes with being on the path of God. I'm not saying that you're not going to go through things, but what I'm trying to tell you is that by the grace and mercy and the power of the Holy Ghost, he will keep you because it's not you that's doing this walk. Walk. It's Christ walking along with you that makes it possible and bearable and doable. There's nothing out in this world that can ever, ever compare to the joy that I feel. There is nothing in this world that I desire more than to serve the Lord. There is nothing more than I desire more than nothing I desire more than to serve him all the days of my life. There is no man that can turn my eye and I've seen some fine ones, but it's not enough for me to turn away from God to go be with nobody who God has for me. That's his, that's his will. That's fine. But honestly, I don't care. I don't desire it. I'm looking to the hill from whence comes my help because I've wasted so much time living in this flesh and doing what I want to do that I want to give the Lord all that I can, the best that I can, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, you can do this thing. Turn to the Lord. I'm thankful that he saved me. I'm thankful that he kept me. I'm thankful that he didn't turn me over to my own desires and my own will. I'm thankful that he didn't cause me to fall into the hands of the enemy. And I'm thankful that he's given me a clean heart, a new heart, a heart of flesh and remove the heart of stone. And y'all, I'm determined to be a better Christian than what I've experienced. I've experienced some good Christians, but most of them jokers out there, they were ugly. They were ready to, to shoot. Some of them ran me off, did different things, not knowing that God had a plan. And God changed me and he caused me not to become hardened because he wants me to be a better example. And I'm determined to be that Christian that while I'm going to give you the undiluted word of God and I'm never going to mince his prophetic words when he gives it to me that I'm determined to show his love and his support and just loving my neighbor as myself through the power of the Holy Spirit to be what I did not get in the churches to be what I didn't get in those who said they were Christians but what I got in the very presence of the almighty God oh my goodness God has changed my heart so that I can give it to the sinner man on the corner the sinner woman on the corner and definitely give that love to my brothers and sisters in Christ. Guys, don't allow church hurt and don't allow the disappointments to make you bitter, but cause it to make you better, cause you to become the example of what God has poured into you. You poured into other people. Guys, I'm about to get off of here right now. Thank you all for listening to me. And I'm ex I am excited I'm so excited that he saved me, y'all. Rejoice in your salvation. Rejoice in your salvation. Stop complaining about stuff. Rejoice in your salvation. Rejoice in this opportunity that you have to speak his word and to preach his word. Guys, we have to reach a place in our life that even the things that we desire, that we can say, God, even if you don't give me this, I will not, I will not fall away from you. God is good, y'all. Have a good evening.